Hey, what's going on guys? Shea Bear here. Today we are back with another video? What? Three videos in the span of what? 24 hours? That's... That's rare. That is rare. Right there. Uh, today's video is Errol's story. My friend set me up on a date. College crush. Three prequel story. <laughs> yeah. I haven't reacted to one of his videos in a, in a long time. In months, my dude. In months. <laughs> so we're going to get back onto it. If you guys have any reaction requests, then just feel free to leave some in the comments. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get right in. <laughs> let's get right on into it. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's react. So imagine there's this girl in your class and you've never talked to her before, you have no mutual friends, and depending on who you ask, she might be out of your league and you I mean like you, you look like a thumb. A beautiful thumb, but still a thumb. This describes right. my situation with the girl that I liked in my art history night lecture in my freshman year of college. And eventually how I then miraculously asked her out. Which at the time is not something I would have done because, you know, still developing in the socializing and confidence sector back then. Hashtag the struggle. But this was my origin story, man. Developing confidence, going out on dates, relatable teenage problems. Yep. Wow, well, this sounds like a fun story. Oh, no! Wait, 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 wait. This sounds... So familiar. Wait. Yo, is this College Crush Part 3? Oh my gosh. It has been so long that I graduated. Seriously? You got me. This is College Crush Part 3. Um, the, the prequel, at least. This is a lot longer than I anticipated it. Uh, please don't get mad at me. These two episodes are the sequel and finale to these two episodes, so go and watch them if you haven't. However, this does also work as its own independent story. And since you are still here, I'm going to assume that you are ready to watch this video. So resuming oh, yeah. from the end of College Crush Part 2, a video from almost two years ago and the actual story taking place back in 2015. <laughs> Nearly four years ago. So after saying yes to my date proposal, Jay then walks over to her dad's big ass truck. Wow, that is a big ass truck. She waves at me and they drive away. What even just happened? And just like that, within the span of two hours, I just went from introducing myself to this random girl in my history class to then landing a date. Somehow, I really don't know how I got this far. So I nice. now have a bunch of new things to worry about, but also I guess you could say I look forward to it too. My two favorite things, being excited and panic attacks. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going on a date. Oh my God, I'm going on a date. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. I'm going on a date. I was completely yeah. calm. No, you weren't. So I'm just there by myself in the parking lot after Jay has been picked up, sweating and smiling like an idiot, wondering what I'm going to do with my life. Okay, uh, well, I guess I can send her a text so then we can plan out this date and stuff. This, this date that I'm totally going on, this is totally happening and this isn't, wow, this is real life, holy shit. Hey, you said Friday works, right? So, what do you want to do? Yeah, is, is that worded well? That's, that's worded fine. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, smiley face? No smiley face. But wait, 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 no, we just met. Hold on, wait. If I send a smiley face, will she think I'm coming on too strong? But wait, no. Oh my gosh. Will she think I'm weird? But wait, no, no, no. Okay, wait, no. If she accepted the date, that already means that she must <laughs> like me to some degree, right? So a smiley face is like totally fine. Like, I've been totally through good, this right? struggle before. My God. Sparkle emoji? Dumb. It's really like this. Uh, eggplant? No! No, 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 not eggplant. No, no. Ugh. <laughs> I'm dying! Hey, what do you want to do on Friday? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Surprise me. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Right, right. That's a thing. Guys are supposed to plan dates. That's a thing. And that's when I remembered. Yep. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I don't have any dating experience. Everybody knows that the best way to learn is under intense life threatening pressure. I would also like to take this moment to remind you that I had actually moved to a new city to attend this college. Therefore, I had zero oh. insight when it came to good food to eat, fun places to check out, and the culture in general. Where am I going to take this girl out on a date? So, with all that in mind, I took the only course of action appropriate. I contacted the event. <laughs> 
And when I mean that, I mean I just messaged my <laughs> Guys, emergency pretty date, uh, pretty girl date, me dumb, don't know what do, please help live here not long, please help come up with fun date ideas. <laughs> Yeah, okay, nice prank, my guy. Ask her if she eats ass. <laughs> that girl should probably get her eyes checked. <laughs> Why are all of you so useless? Now, along with the- Okay, okay. <laughs> That's how you know that they are best friends. If, if you don't do that with, with your best friend, can you call them that? <laughs> I know that I've done the same thing with my friends, and they've done the same thing to me. <laughs> Like, I know if, like, I texted something like that to my friends, or, like, <laughs> they would reply back with, wait, a girl talked to you? And she wasn't asking for directions? <laughs> oh, man. This is, oh, jeez. All right, let, let's, get, let's get back into it. <laughs> DMs, I would also then ask around in person at school for advice. This happened throughout the course of two days. Wednesday and Thursday. And I actually ended up getting a lot of great recommendations and advice from people. I basically had an encyclopedia of cafes and fun places to visit by the end of the day, which was nice. However, I just thought that this entire situation was so funny because as I was frantically running around my campus asking for <laughs> advice, I felt like I was gathering allies to fight off some sort of final villain boss. <laughs> I was, was on that? my Infinity War sh <laughs> Goku powering up the spirit bomb. Ya boy was out here preparing for the Great Ninja War. Anyways, now out of all this great advice slash anime energy support, my date planning MVP was my wonderful friend, Holly. You may recognize her from my Art Kids video. Now this wonderful human being that I had the privilege of calling a friend drew me a map. A map, my guy, a <laughs> map. A hand-drawn map of the entire downtown area beside our campus. And she labeled each store and restaurant along with a little description of what each establishment was like and how dateable it was out of 10. I swear to you when she Dang. finished with that piece of paper and dropped it into my unworthy peasant hands, I held that shit up like it was the Lion King. <laughs> So this was the game plan, boys, presented by Holly. And here is the first step, the most crucial part of your date, the cafe. This place I recommend is the perfect blend of what I like to call triple B. Uh, triple what's triple B? B? What? Bad, bougie, and but comfy. Comfy doesn't start with a B. Shut up, peasant. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna go to the bookstore after this. This is a great opportunity to show off your ha <laughs> ha intelligence because you read books and stuff. I don't know if that's a good idea because all I do is read these. <laughs> but yeah, sure, why not? Also, did you just speak in a really bad French accent? Then, once you're done at the bookstore, you're gonna walk her over to the bridge and the river here is really pretty, it's really great, and uh, yeah, it's just romantic or whatever the heck. Anyways, then you're gonna end things off with dessert at the candy and ice cream shop. It's also really aesthetic and stuff if she's into artsy sh I mean, we literally all go to an art school. And here oh your God. date will finally come to a close. At this point, hopefully she doesn't think you're total degenerate scum and perhaps a date number duh will be planned. And yeah, that's the plan. And by the way, for the cafe, I recommend sitting either by the fireplace or the window. Ask me why. Uh, why? Because it's romantic, obviously. So with Holly's advice and the power of my homies, it was time. Thursday had come to an end. And so the day of reckoning finally came. Friday morning had come. It was time to suit up and head to the train station. The first date, the origin story of Arrow's story. The battle against the Jathos. You gotta be kidding me with this, <laughs> really? Yo, that looks so cool. Oh man. I could so relate to this in so many levels. 
Because there have been times where, like, I've asked girls out on dates, and I try to plan everything out. Then nothing goes as planned. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they, the dates didn't end bad, but... They ended a lot differently than I thought they would end. <laughs> like, <laughs> but there was this one time where, um, there was this one day I went on that I didn't, here's the thing, I didn't really treat it as a date. I saw it as me hanging out with another friend. And it went awesome, you know? I wasn't nervous or afraid to say something stupid. And even if I did say something stupid, they would laugh and think I'm just messing around. And it, but, in, but in fact, I am an idiot. <laughs> and dumb things will come out of my mouth. But yeah, it, it went out great, to be honest. But when I didn't plan anything, it went, out, it went out great. I had a blast. We had some laughs. We walked around a lot. <laughs> Saw some, you know, very good romantic spots, you know. There was a bridge with water flowing underneath it. <laughs> It, it, it was magical. Uh, it's like... Then again, you have to kind of love that anxiety of, oh my gosh, this is my first date. What am I going to do? <laughs> if I, I can't say anything dumb or stupid or else she might think I do, I'm dumb and stupid. Uh, I can, uh, it's just so... <laughs> It's bringing back some of that anxiety I had thinking back to the first time I went out on a date and it's just, oh, trying to act all cool and everything when I wasn't. <laughs> oh, geez. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a good feeling, but, but you wish some things had never had happened. Oh man. Oh, geez. All right, I think I'm going to end this right here. If you guys want to see the original video, I'll leave the link in the description down below, as always. <laughs> uh, if you have anything to request, then feel free to leave it down in the comments and below. Yeah, below. <laughs> and yeah, later.